What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how I created this material from an AI generated art piece through Midjourney. If you guys want to join my Discord to see what prompts I'm pulling in every day, you're welcome to. Link is in the description. So for this one, I had a reference like so, which you'll check in my previous video. I try to recreate the similar style of this hoodie. We use this as our prompt. It kind of looked like a watercolor, so I went with that. I then did up some prompts which I wasn't too sure if I was happy with or not, so I carried on working on it a little bit more. Um, and I ended with airbrush, watercolor, orange, yellow, blue, white background, followed by two hyphens tile, two hyphens AR, one is to one. You must make sure you use two hyphens followed by tile because this will create a pattern that will repeat itself without any overlaps. And it'll look really good when you take it into Blender once you set up your material. I then upscaled it and we ended up with a version like this. From there, we take that image into Photoshop We'll click image on the top left, followed by canvas size. We'll set pixels to percentage and set width and height to 300. This will give us quite a high res file size. Because our mid journey prompt was tile, we are able to easily copy and paste this over without any overlapping. If you're not happy with how that looks, you can simply take this spot healing brush and fiddle around until you're happy with the final results. This is what I ended with. From here, our exports and add into Blender. Once you open up Blender, you can head over to your Share the Editor section. From there, we can select New Material, and it's as easy as dragging and dropping the image into the shader window. We can then connect your color to the base color and your alpha to your alpha. You should get something like this. This is your base material now. You're welcome to add bumps, displacement, gloss map, hard, normal, reflection, roughness, ambient occlusion, or whatever you want. If you're not happy with the scale of this material, you can then add a texture coordinate, mapping, and value node. You'll see now how tiling will play an effect when you increase the value of the scale. Once you're happy, you're good to go. When I added this to my garment, this is what my end result looked like. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, sub if you're new, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.